I am so excited to be able to help you decide what your undertone is. And the reason is, is because I've had so many questions about this. I've also questioned it myself in the past, but years and years ago, I was taught about the color wheel and the color tones and undertones that we all have. And I want to share with you what I have learned through all those years. So we're going to get into how to choose what your color undertone is and how to choose makeup that helps complement that right now. Years ago, when I learned about undertones and the tone of your skin, I didn't know about the veins in your arm. Now, this is what everybody will tell you right now is to look at these veins in your arm and they're the most predominant veins that you can see. They're the ones that you can see from the top of your skin. You're not trying to look around for each little vein in there. You're trying to see these two. It's usually two veins, three veins right there that come together and go down your arm and you're trying to look at that. So first rule of thumb, if they are purple or blue, blue to purple, then you have a very cool undertone. The second one is neutral. If they go from blue to teal to green, which is what mine are, then you have a neutral undertone. The third one is if they go from green to olive, then you have a warm undertone. I okay. find that mine are very blue leaning towards a green mix right there. That's what mine are. They aren't purple. I can't see any purple veins in there. And I don't see any like olive color or, you know, yellowish, greenish color in here. So that's the first way. Now, when I was taught, it was a lot different. I was taught to hold colors up to yourself to look and see what looks best on you. That's how I was taught. I was taught by the color wheel. Now I'm going to throw up a picture again that is all about the color wheel. And the color wheel has opposites that go across the color wheel and it has um, complementary that go next to the color you're looking at. So let's say you're looking at blue. When you go across the color wheel, you're gonna see that the very opposite of blue is orange. Okay, next to blue is there is some greens and some purples and then we get into reds and then we get into yellows. So. Half of that is going to be somebody that is cool. The other half is going to be somebody is warm. So aside from the color wheel and learning what's on the color wheel, which side is cool toned, which side would be, you know, right down the middle neutral toned, and then which side, which side would be warm toned. Gosh, I'm getting tongue tied. Then you would want to take colors and hold them up to yourself and decide which color looks better on me. So this is just a shirt I have. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take it and I'm put it completely across, hold my hair back here. I'm gonna put it completely across my chest. That is a blue shirt. This is the color that I know that is my undertone and I hopefully, I probably just muffled the sound a lot. I apologize for that, but there's really no other way to do this. So as you can see, I still look okay. I don't look like anything, you know, bad or, you know, look different coloring. It still looks good with my coloring, but I have a shirt of my husband's that is orange and he has to work it, wear it for work. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put up an orange shirt. Hopefully this is gonna come across on camera. Can you now see how that just changed my coloring 100%? So I'm gonna do this again. So here it is, this is the orange and that is the blue. Can you guys see, did you see the difference? Let me get a little bit closer. We're gonna put this a little bit higher up. That is the blue. Let's change it. Let's go to the orange. Can you guys see the difference there and how much of a difference that made in my skin tone just by putting a color up there? That's the same thing that happens when you put on your foundation. If you put on too orange of a foundation in your cool tone, it's not gonna look good. But if you put on too cool toned of a foundation and you're warm toned, you're gonna look gray and sick. So I have pink on today, kind of just trying to go with the flow here, but that's a really good way. So pull out a couple shirts out of everybody's wardrobe in your house or your own wardrobe, put them up to your skin and just, you know, hold them up like here. 
The other thing that you can do is ask somebody that's in the house with you. You know, which, which color looks better on me? What does this color make me look like? Have you ever done that thing where you hold a daisy or a dandelion right here underneath and you can see the yellow right there? That's because those colors will really, you know, they will affect the tone that you're wearing. They will cast a tone onto your skin. So you wanna wear a good tone for your skin. So ask somebody in your house, you know, look yourself in the mirror with a good light or even when you're like outside or something, you know, try to, you know, decide which you like. Usually we are drawn to the undertone or the tones of colors that we really are, have our undertone as. So hopefully that's not too confusing. So I have a couple of really good uses of what is warm, what is cool. So this number seven is in cool ivory. It is a very cool color, I love this. And then the Light Illusion from Flower Beauty. This one is natural beige. So we're gonna put these two on my hand and you're gonna be able to see the difference. First of all, I'm gonna take the cool one and I'm gonna put that across my hand. Okay, look you guys, you can barely even see it because it blends in so well. That's the cool one. I'm cool toned, I know that. That has a lot of gray in it, it has some pink in it. That is my undertone, um, even though it says Due to this, it says I'm neutral undertone, which means I should be able to wear both. But this, you, you can often even hardly see where I did that, but I promise you I did. It's right there on my finger. All right, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the Flower Beauty one and I'm gonna put it on my finger and I'm going to rub it across. And keep in mind, we have the cool toned one up here and here is the warm toned one. Hopefully you can see the difference. How orange this one is, and how cool this one is. So if you're a warm tone person, this is gonna be fine for you. For me and being cool toned, it's gonna to make me look very orange and if a foundation has any sort of a property where it usually oxidizes just a little bit, which means the air hits it and it might turn a little bit more orange, that's gonna be way, way too orange for me in the day and I'm gonna end up looking patchy and I'm gonna end up looking like an Oompa Loompa in the day. But if you are somebody that has this sort of a tone, it's gonna to look great for you. What do I do if I'm neutral? Guess what? You just get two and you just mix them together and it's gonna look fantastic on you. Now, the tone of, of what your skin is, whether it's light, medium, or dark, you're gonna to have to kind of decide that on your own because that's something that is really, you know, just about, you know, trying colors until you figure out, do I need a darker color? Do I need to go lighter? Because you will see that on your neck and your chest and you know the way it looks right here on you know whether or not it blends well on your jawline because you don't want that line of demarcation so that is the difference on foundations concealers is the same thing when you're looking at a concealer and they list it by like estee lauder is really good for this so they list them by neutral cool or warm so they go w n or c so it's really good by that. Um, number seven I like because they have the cool and then they have the other colors that you can get into too. But that's really what you have to do. Unfortunately, companies like Flower Beauty, where there isn't a huge you know, range, you have to maybe do some color correcting with this. And I color correct, I'm gonna throw up a video for you guys and I'm gonna link it down below, how to correct any foundation to become cool or neutral. It's a really great video, it didn't get a lot of views, but I think it can be a really great tool for everyone. And it just, I show you with mix in mediums how you can go about changing a very warm toned into a cool tone. I also talk about how you can take a very cool tone and turn it into a warm tone, which is way easier than the one that is warm and turning it into cool. But cool tone, really all you have to do is mix in something that's warm or maybe some bronzer or something like that. So that's it on concealers and foundations. Now let's talk about eyeshadows. I'm using the Juvia's Place eyeshadows because they are so saturated in their colors. And this is gonna be a great way for you to see what is a neutral color, what is a warm color, and what is a, what is a cool color. So I'm going to probably start with the warm colors because in just about every palette that Juvia's Place does, they go very, very warm on their colors. Orange right here, this is an extremely warm color. Can you imagine me wearing that on my eyes? I don't think I could do it in a million years. That's a very saturated, very orange color. We're gonna put it across the top right there. 
That is a very, very warm tone. I also wanted to find a yellow. So here's the yellow that we're gonna go into and we're gonna put that on there. And this is another very, very warm tone. So we're working with warm tones here. I'm showing you exactly, you know, what the difference is, is that's warm, okay? Now I'm going to show you a very warm green. Green is that spot that you have to figure out is this a cool tone green or is this a warm tone green? That's the one that is the only one. That and red are the two colors because again, they're across the color wheel. Those are the two colors that you're gonna have to figure out. Is this a warm red? Is this is a cool red? Is this a warm green? Is this a cool green? So again, I'm gonna go into this color right here. This is a very warm green because it has the undertones that are very yellow. It leans to, more towards yellow than it does towards blue. That okay. is a very warm tone palette right there. Now red is a little bit harder because you guys have heard so much about um, there being a blue based lipstick that's red and it can make your teeth look whiter and then there's others that are orange based. And that is really a tricky one, but I think that I can probably best show you what a warm toned red is out of the Milani Pure Passion palette. And it's gonna kinda look weird to you guys when I first show it to you. That is a yellow based red. And because it's a metallic, it's not gonna look like what I want it to look like. I wish I could have found one that was matte, but that is pretty war warm based red. So those are the colors that you're looking at. Those are your warm tones. All right, let's move on over to the cool side. I'm gonna start with a very cool toned red, which is what I was just talking about. This is an extremely cool toned red. Can you see the blue base in that? Even though it's fairly bright, you can still see that it has a blue base under it. So that is a, a cool toned red. And then we're gonna go into this very cool toned purple right here. Very, very cool toned. And that is going to be the next one down on the color wheel. Next, I'm gonna show you a very blue, colored blue. This is a bright blue. Blue and yellow, those are the two colors that you really can't mix too much to have them go like with the undertones. You have to just stick with, well, blue is blue. It's a blue undertone. Yellow is yellow. It's a yellow undertone. Those are our two tones we're looking for. And then now I'm gonna be looking for a blue-based green. And this is a really good example of it right here. This is leaning towards the blue side, but it's still very green. And you will see the difference in the two greens right here. Okay, so that's the difference in colors. That's the difference in, okay, this is cool tone. This is warm tone, which looks better on me. What's interesting about learning about color combinations is if I took this purple right here and I put it across my hand right there, and then I took this yellow right here and I put it across and I continue to mix these, if I continue to mix those back and forth, what's eventually gonna happen is I'm gonna get a brown color because it's going to turn it neutral. So hopefully you guys can see how that just kind of went neutral But when, when I was mixing the two of them. And that's how you really get neutral tones is to mix either you know, the opposite end of the scale on the color wheel and then you get those neutral tones. That actually looks like a really good bruise right there. <laughs> So that is how you get a neutral tone is to mix the two. So when you're looking at something that, okay, well, I, I just like earthy colors. I like colors that are very natural on my eyes, which is your browns, your grays, all those kinds of things. How do you tell what is going to be good for you when you're just wearing an everyday natural color? Let's look at some really good examples of cool, neutral, and warm tones. The best way I can show you is the, with the Milani Bold Obsessions palette. This has all of them. So right here in the middle, these are very warm tones. Out here, these are very cool tones. And right here, they're very neutral. Isn't that interesting how you can just see that now? These are gray tones over here. They lean with a blue undertone. And then right here, these are leaning with a yellow undertone. And then right here, they're kind of got both. They're All right, let's start with warm. There's a warm tone right there. And then let's put up cool. There's a cool tone right there. It's got that blue undertone. And then let's put in the neutral. There's the neutral. It's got both. It's got both in there. So is that easier to see? Is that easier to understand on that? So this is a great example if you wanna just try all of them because this is a pretty inexpensive palette right now on Amazon. So if you wanted to see what looks best on you, you can kind of just 
you know, play a little bit in this palette. That's a perfect example. That was a lot, I know, but I hope that that helped you guys. This was the biggest one, I thought, in helping you to see, you know, on earthy colors, on colors that are very, just colors that are wearable on your eyes, this is what would help you the most to see, you know, does it go on orange onto my eyes or does it go on with a yellow cast onto my eyes? Does it go on with a blue cast on my eyes? Does it go on with kind of more of a muddy look, kind of more of a bluish look? Or does it go on with just neither? Does it just go on and it just complements my skin tone? Lots of people are going to be able to wear the, this color right here because it's not going to pull them very cool and it's not going to pull them very warm. It's going to just be that sweet spot in the middle of the neutral. So lots of people can wear that either side. I can wear that color. I don't normally, I can't normally get away with this orange color. I'm going to look sick. I'm going to look like I don't feel good, that kind of thing. But I can always get away with the bluish grayish tones. The other so, thing is when you're doing, you know, colors on your eyes, unless you're going for a very stark eye that is the opposite end, you're going to want to go with colors that are just off to the side of the color wheel. So if you have a blue, you're going to go with purple or you're going to go with green to complement and so on. So hopefully that answered everything. I can do a part two on this where I could talk all day about this. This is a long video, but I really wanted to go in depth with you about what the difference is in undertones, how you can tell what cool and warm tones is, neutral, and tell what you feel like looks best on you. And again, this is about experimenting. Try them on your eyes. Try and see what you think about them. You know, maybe just do just one color on your eye. See how that looks instead of you know making darker colors lighter colors on your eye just try doing maybe a red on there try doing maybe an orange on there a yellow a blue see what happens and what you think about the way your eye looks as you're putting those on and how it complements your eye color your skin your hair all those things play into play a good factor into whether or not you're going to want to lean towards cool warm or neutral I hope this was helpful. This is a big one. Give it a thumbs up, please. I worked really hard on and it. I would and I'd love to have it generated out there so that more people can understand what their undertone is. Thank you guys so much for watching today. Any more questions that you have, please don't hesitate to put those in the um, comment box. I am happy to answer any of those that you have. Have a great day. I hope everybody is doing okay and fighting the good fight, staying safe and staying sanitized. And I will see you guys all in my next video. I love you so much. Bye.